All right. Weekly walk through the field. So one of the new things you'll see is irrigation lines actually watering things. So we should have uh, beets coming up here in the next week. Um, looks like there is a slight leak over here. Have to figure that out. But uh, we look in here and we have some radishes and we've got Asian greens, so you're talking bok choy and uh, oh my goodness, what did I forget that I planted here? Uh, turnips, those white turnips everybody loves. Uh, Tokyo sweet turnips or something like that, hakurai, whatever you want to call them. And then over here, and these take a little longer to germinate, so if you see something in these beds, then it's a weed. But uh, these are carrots. So those should be coming up soon. And like with the radishes, give us uh, a few weeks and we'll be eating them. We have uh, tomato beds in the tunnel mulched. Um, they are just high enough to get uh, straw mulch around them. And underneath, of course, is our irrigation. So they'll all inside the tunnel there get uh, watered from the ground and be dry on top, which is great so they don't catch disease. Um, cucumbers are coming along on the sides, and we're almost ready here on our on our kale seed harvest. Looks like we probably need a week more, some more of this dry air, but these pods are almost ready to burst here. And these will all have, I think, 100 or so seeds in them, so that'll be nice. We'll be fully stocked for the rest of the year. Um, what else did we do this week so far? So yeah, lots of irrigation, but over here we've got uh, um, uh, full-size bok choy and uh, Chinese cabbage. This is uh, basil and dill. And over here we've got chard. Uh, this is cabbage and radicchio. Nothing in this bed yet. And then of course we got water on our lettuces here. Uh, getting bigger, getting bigger. I need to be a little weeded there. Um, and then some new lettuces, and that's that light green there. We've also got, uh, of course, the old kale. There's new kale further down, and then there's broccoli down the center there. So that's all wonderful. Looks uh, like we're going to have a full moon soon, too. So I'm going to just walk out. The next few days is going to be a lot of seeding out here, but also transplanting. We've got more cucumbers and more kale and more lettuce. We just keep it coming. Every week I've got the good 12 trays that we reseed just to make sure it keeps going now that we can cultivate in the fields and not worry about destroying the soil. Um, tomatoes are in the back of the field this year because last year they were all up over there and we want to rotate and separate where they were from. So any diseases that might be in the soil and any bugs that might think they're being smart by staying where they were, well, they won't uh, get at it. But uh, you can see the lighter green, we got the peppers growing really well in here now. Oh, even more. Ooh, 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 that looks good. Um, several rows of peppers and we've been going through here and weeding as much as we can but again like we keep telling you the grass it's where we live so we just keep fighting it but every row here is tomatoes um, I know it's kind of darker in here but can you can you see yeah there we go look at that got some tomatoes growing there so um have to order some more pipe so that's why that's uh, like that. We also started in out here now covering tomatoes um, with uh, mulch. Get a single layer in and then uh, go from there. So that's the week. Um, like I told some people that I already delivered because it's after deliveries on Wednesday. Um, the shares are smaller less filled than they have been so far uh, all because of that rain and you can see the delay there it's been two weeks without rain every day and all that but there is a delay just because you can't cultivate 
or, or till or plow soil that's wet. It just destroys the structure. So we had to hold off. But now we're going through and getting in as much as we can. And like I said, you guys can see, we've got stuff growing. It's looking good. So um, I didn't take you by the cucumbers and the squash, but they're growing like crazy over there. And we keep up with these semi-warm days and with the irrigation, even if we don't have rain, we're fine. But, you know, a little bit of rain doesn't hurt. Um, and hopefully before the rain that's supposed to come on Friday, we get a whole bunch more planted because we've got tomorrow and Friday before it comes, before market. So that's where we're at. Bees are doing wonderfully. Goats are great. We've got at least one going to give birth here soon. Um, maybe another. We're not fully sure. They don't show until they're almost ready to to pop. But uh, apparently they did not uh, get pregnant over the winter when they were supposed to. And it happened in uh, either really late winter or early spring here. So we might, uh, well, we will have more babies, that's for sure. Because uh, Annabeth is... Uh, is looking ready but uh, that's the deal so I will see everybody later and uh, bye